The Kremlin's attempts to downplay Vladimir Putin's billionaire status by revealing that he earns about $140,000 are so easy to discredit. The guy is often spotted rocking some of the flashiest luxury watches, and Bill Browder, a financier, has actually revealed that Putin is worth $200 billion. But you know what? That's not even his real net worth. In this video, we go out to unmask the mystery of Putin's actual net worth. We will look at his ludicrous and extravagant assets, including flashy watches, lavish multi-million dollar homes by the sea, and countless high-end cars. You'll also discover his massive fleet of helicopters and aircraft, private jets with comfort and luxury you can only dream of, and incredible gold stash. Watch to the end where we sum everything up and answer the all-important question, is Vladimir Putin really a billionaire, and just how rich is he? Putin's Hot Watches Hate him or love him, this guy loves himself a good timepiece. So much so that he has quite a collection of Rolexes, Brigitte Marines, and more, which according to political critic Borat Nemstov, is worth around $1 million. Can you believe it? And get this, among these timepieces are the Longa and Son Tubograph with crocodile skin strap, which alone costs about $535,000. That's some serious bling on his wrist if you ask me. Anyway, when he's not in the mood for showing off, you'll catch him with something cheaper, like the white gold Patek Philippe's perpetual calendar worth $61,000, or he might just opt for his 11,000 Blancpain Le Mans Aqua Lung Grand Date. Putin's Lavish Mansions So, Putin owns a whopping 20 luxury homes, and one of them is the jaw-dropping Black Sea Coastal Palace known as Putin's Country Cottage, valued at a mind-boggling $1.4 billion. And let me tell you, this place is something out of a dream. It boasts a marble swimming pool adorned with statues of Greek gods, a wine cellar, a theater, and even a club-like space for pole dancing. Now, let's take a tour of the palace's first floors. We've got a music room, a gym, and a dining room that showcases Italian luxury furniture worth a whopping $500,000. Oh, and don't miss the bar table, which costs around $54,000 and the six bedrooms, each adorned with luxurious Italian furniture. It also has a grand auditorium that spans two whole floors in height. Do these spectacles seem like something someone with a $140,000 salary can afford? Anyway, let's not forget about Putin's other properties. Rumor has it that he owns 19 more houses, including the one the world learned about in 2017, when reports surfaced that Putin had treated himself to a lavish home just a few miles from Russia's border with the West. And hear this, it was said to be decked out with gold-plated tiles in the swimming pool. Putin's Luxurious Jet When he's on the move, he likes to travel in style on a remarkable aircraft designed in neoclassical fashion. This beauty, known as the Ilyushin IL-96300PU, has earned itself the nickname Flying Kremlin, which essentially means it's the flying office of the President of Russia. Pretty fancy, right? And get this, this magnificent aircraft is valued at a staggering $716 million. Now, picture this. Inside the Flying Kremlin, you'll find an opulent toilet made entirely of gold worth $75,000. But it's not just about fancy toilets. This aircraft is like a flying saucer, capable of reaching speeds of up to 900 kilometers an hour. Inside, you'll discover a gym, a bar, because who wouldn't want a mid-air cocktail? And not one, not two, but three bedrooms. And here's the fascinating part. This flying marvel is equipped with advanced communication systems that enable it to function as a full-fledged command center. Putin can literally control the army while he's on the move. Talk about multitasking. Putin's aircraft and helicopters. In addition to the magnificent flying Kremlin, Putin's love for aviation extends to an impressive collection of 58 aircrafts and helicopters. Speaking of helicopters, while the exact number remains unspecified, he is known to own a fleet of Russian-made Mi-8s. If you're wondering, these helicopters are not ordinary. They come with a basic cost of around $4 million each. I must say, that's quite the investment in vertical transportation. Enjoying the video so far? We've just scratched the surface here. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's continue with our inquest into Putin's extravagant lifestyle and real net worth. Putin's insane fleet of 700 luxury cars. You could probably name any luxury car and Putin has it. And no, this is not an exaggeration. The Russian leader actually owns a fleet of over 700 high-end cars. This collection includes everything from sleek limousines to powerful off-road machines. Talking of limos, the official presidential car that Putin rides in is the true definition of luxury. 
dubbed the Aris Sanat Limousine, the $1.7 million, the 7-meter-long high-tech marvel is something right out of a James Bond movie. It weighs 7 tons and is super armored to shelter occupants from bombs and chemical weapons attacks. In fact, the incredibly paranoid Russian leader would be totally undisturbed if the car was to be submerged in water. Aside from the super strong build, this machine can also control speed automatically, slowing down at road signs, as well as adjust the passenger seat, windows, and doors to shelter occupants in the face of a collision. Now, while this million-dollar car far outshadows the rest of the vehicles in his fleet, that's not to say he hasn't paid top dollar for nearly all of them. Putin's four luxury yachts, including a super yacht. When Putin isn't cruising in his limo or the flying Kremlin, you'll probably find him at sea in one of his boats. And if in the Tuscan coast, probably a super yacht. Yes, the Russian president owns a mega yacht, dubbed the Scheherazade, having gone unnoticed, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky even calling on Italy to seize it during a parliamentary address. Putin's gold reserves worth at least $130 billion. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, many have wondered how Putin is able to sustain a war. More so when the rest of the globe was, and is still, to some extent, dealing with the economic repercussions of COVID-19. Well, the Russian head of state has been preparing for the war for years, and among his top priorities was amassing as much gold as he can get his hands on. He went as far as sourcing gold from South Sudan to Venezuela. His efforts have grown Russia's gold reserves, which, of course, are under his control from a mere $2 billion in 1995 to a whopping $130 billion in 2023. And this is set to continue growing as he increasingly trades gold. Rumor has it that the gold is kept in an unknown palace under heavy security. Putin's Multi-Billion Dollar Business Empire Putin fancies more than just the finer things in life. Aside from being a formidable politician, he's also an aggressive businessman. The Russian leader, together with his inner circle, has been linked to a whopping 86 companies, which collectively hold over $4.5 billion in assets that include real estate at home and abroad, luxury yachts, private jets, and financial holdings. All this is according to a recent investigation by the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project OCCRP, and the Russian media outlet Medusa, who recently dropped some mind-blowing revelations. And here's where it gets even more interesting. It turns out that all these organizations share a common email domain, llcinvest.ru. And guess where that web server is hosted? A discreet Russian IT company called Moskomsvyaz. So, is Putin really a billionaire? To answer our initial question, yes, Putin is definitely a billionaire, and we can back this by pointing to just his exquisite mansion worth $1.4 billion. So, is he the wealthiest man on the planet, as many outlets in and outside Russia have claimed? Possibly. Many sources estimate that Putin is worth upwards of $285 billion. If this is true, then his estate beats that of Elon Musk, currently worth $234 billion, and Bernard Arnault at $229 billion, the two wealthiest people in the world today. This vast empire is purported to be the main reason he held on to power for so long. For perspective, Putin has been at the helm of the Russian government as president and briefly as prime minister since 1999. So, do you believe Vladimir Putin is the richest person in the world today? Do you think he will one day admit it? Drop a comment and don't forget to like the video.